everybody it's Wendy and today we are going to do a little bracelet tutorial using these adjustable bangle bracelets so um, I have these on my website right now I don't have a huge amount of them up there I think I have about 20 um, but I had someone ask me to do a tutorial using Millefiori glass so I thought this would be really cute to use uh, the Millefiori glass with so what I have done is I've gone through my Millefiori glass and picked out just several different um, shapes and sizes all in um, either turquoise or white and then some of the turquoise ones have some yellow on them so like this is a little melon looking bead with some yellow on it um, there it is but and then I have added in a couple of bicones so this is a big um, 10 millimeter Swarovski bicone that matches and then I have a couple of smaller 8mm bicones. And then some even smaller 4mm white um, AB. These are opal, white opal AB. And then I added in some silver spacer beads. So I'm not sure that these will all go on here. Um, you can hang charms from this. You can hang, you know, whatever you would want from it. But I wanted to do the Millefiori glass because that was requested. So then... We're going to do a pair of earrings as well so these findings are up on my website as well um, i just got them in i think they're really really cute and i've got some of the same beads here that we're going to use for the little dangles on the earrings okay um, i have two eye pins for the earrings two fish hook ear wires and then i have a bunch of head pins to make all these little dangles um, I am going to use my one-step looper today. I don't normally use this when I'm just making a few dangles, but we're making a bunch, so I'm going to use my one-step looper. I have a split ring plier here. Um, this is a special, it's got this little tooth on here, and it makes it a lot easier to open split rings. I want to attach these on with split rings because I just feel like they'll be a lot more secure on here um, than with jump rings. So I do have some split rings. And then I have some jump rings in case I can't get <laughs> the split rings on there because they are really hard sometimes. Split rings are really, really hard sometimes. Um, we use them at work all the time, and I have these pliers, and even with that, I still have trouble with split rings. But I just feel like they're more secure, so I am going to try to use them on this, okay? So um, then we've got our regular pliers. I've got my cutters, my round nose pliers, my long... Um, flat nose and my short flat nose okay these are by Zaron in case anybody's asking I got them on Amazon all right now these um, I got at Hobby Lobby and I think I ordered these on Amazon as well all right so get your stuff together and we'll go ahead and get started all right so first thing we've got to do is make a bunch of dangles and I will show you how I do it now normally I use um, my just regular pliers and do dangles but today I'm going to go ahead and use the one step looper just because I have so many to make so I'm just going to pick out like this one I'm going to put the little silver bead on the bottom and the top this is kind of a bigger dangle but I love Millefiori glass I think it is so so pretty um, and then we're going to take the one step looper and the way this works is you stick the head pin in here you stick it right through that hole in the back you can you don't have to like if it's too short you don't have to and you get down as close as you can to the bead and I like to bend this back a little bit and then just go ahead and close it squeeze it and it makes a little loop now they don't always close all the way so you have to take your pliers and you have to close them up but I'm not going to do that just yet because I'm actually going to put the split rings on them and I don't want to have to fool with opening I mean, I'd rather just have this. There's no sense in trying to put the split ring on without. I'm just going to slip it in under the open spot because split rings are hard. <laughs> we just established that. They really are. <laughs> okay, so this piece, I think I'll do one of these bicones and this piece right here. And again, the one step looper. You just stick it right through there. I like to give it a little bend backwards just because I feel like it makes it uh, finish better and there you have your little loop and then take your little piece leftover piece out this one I'm just going to do by itself and 
I really, um, I don't know, I really love Millefiori glass. I have for a long time. I didn't really understand what it was, and then somebody had sent me some things with Millefiori glass in them, and I just thought they were so, so pretty. Um, and so ever since then, I've really been a fan. I just think it's gorgeous. We'll go ahead and do this bicone. And I think that the key, the um, what a lot of people do with these bracelets is they don't put very many dangles on them. But I'm going to put a lot on there because I, I just think it would be really cute with a bunch of dangles on it. So we'll do a bicone and this guy right here. If I can find the hole. There we go. And this. And I'm sorry if you can hear stuff playing in the background. Chris is watching some kind of band or something on TV. I don't know what he's watching, but it's loud. <laughs> he says he ruined his ears when he was younger, but I'm telling you, he is... He listens to the loudest stuff. I told him he's... Oh, this one's just not wanting to go on there. I told him he's continuing to ruin his ears and mine. <laughs> but he is very... He listens to the music so, so loud. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and let's do a little round bead in this melon one. I really like these melon ones. I think they're so cute. Look at it. Just a little flower on there. Okay. Go ahead and do that one. And let's see, what do I have here? Yeah, I really want this one on there. Let's go ahead and put it, and I will put the bead on top of it. There we go. Okay. There we go. And I'd like to do one, let's see. I want to do one with one of these bicones, another one of these bicones, and we'll do this one. And that might be, whoops. I don't know if that'll be all or not. We'll see here in just a second. So we had such a great time in Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know how many people that subscribe to my channel live there, but it is the most gorgeous city I've ever seen. Um, there are so many beautiful historic buildings, but they're all maintained very pretty. Like a lot of towns or cities you go into and they'll have all these historic buildings, but they're falling apart. I think I'm going to stop at that many on here. Okay. But Charleston, um, they have just got the most beautiful historic buildings and they're all maintained and it's there's um, so much of the ocean and water around and I just loved it. I told Chris, I said, I think this is one place that I would love to live one day. So <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever get there, but we might. It's a beautiful city. Okay, so we're going to open these up, put the split ring on, close it back. Just because I don't want to have to try to put the split ring through the closed loop, it's hard enough. It's going to be hard enough to get it on the um, on the bangle. But I do want to make sure, you want to make sure that these are closed up really good. Because you don't want them falling off. And then I'm going to take the split ring plier. This is how it works. So you find, you get down close to the end of the little, where it opens. And you just close that, open that little plier and it will open it right up. And then you might need to have to scoot it back just a little bit like this. And then you just try to insert it into whatever that you're putting it on. <laughs> Split rings are just so difficult, but I think we can do it with this. I just honestly think these will be so much more secure than jump rings. And it helps if you take your finger and kind of stabilize it back there. Let's see if I can do it. It's tough. These are not easy. And if I can't get them on here, then we will just do jump rings. But I'm going to try. Might be easier to push it from the front. There we go. That's going to be the easiest way, I think. Maybe not. My plier keeps wanting to slip off. I usually don't do... I usually don't put them on bangles. I usually put them on earrings. Okay, there we go. 
So once you get it started on there, you can take your plier and just go ahead and turn like this. And it goes on. Now, it has bent this one open, and that's the other thing. Oh, great. Okay. Well, the split ring may not work. Let me see. It bent it open because this is kind of a wide opening in this. Sometimes you can close them back, but I don't, I don't think they're going to work on this. So, I should have checked that beforehand. But I didn't. So, I'm going to take this one off because it's just bending them too wide. Um, to get them on there and there's no point in doing that because then they are going to fall off so I'm just going to pull it off of here and we'll get rid of the split rings sorry guys um, sometimes it's trial and error when you're making things and I just put them in the jump ring thing which wasn't good all right I could double jump ring all of them but I'm not going to do that <laughs> I'm just going to find some fairly solid little jump rings and we're going to put them on. I just love the security of the split ring. But they, number one, they're super hard to get open and get on your project, whatever you're trying to do. And then they're just really, really, like if it's something very wide like this one, they're just about impossible to get closed, you know, that bends them out of their shape. So that's a pain, but okay. We're going to go ahead with this. So let's put those aside and let me grab my other two pliers. And it is trial and error sometimes when you're making things. So don't get nasty with me on the comments about being better prepared <laughs> or something like that because we're just creating here. I'm just making something. I've not done this before. And sometimes that happens when you're making things you haven't done it before. So if you have some kind of nasty comment, just keep it to yourself, because I will delete it if you don't. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the jump rings on. Now, I'm going to layer these. I'm going to do some on the top and some on the bottom. And one thing that we need to make sure of now, as well as making sure that our jump rings that we're putting them on with are closed, we want to make sure that our loops are closed, because the one-step looper is really bad to leave these open just a little bit. That's the only complaint I have about it, is it does that. So you need to go in and make sure that all these are closed really well. Oops, and I just closed that one too well. <laughs> That'll be okay. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it on a jump ring. Jump ring will go on it. I did close it up really tight. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get on there now. Let's open that back up a little bit. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I've decided that I want to retire one day to Charleston. It's so pretty. Um, and there's so much. It's a bunch of, there's a lot of islands around there, too. Like, there's all these different islands. We went to Sullivan Island. We went to Daniels Island. Um... There was Isle of Palms, and it's just, there's beach and water everywhere. I mean, it's just beautiful. And there's more than just beach, though. There's, like, the bay or the harbor. I don't really know what it's called. And, like, the Intracoastal Waterway. It was oh, it was just beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I loved it. Lighthouses, just the beach life. I was born in the wrong place. I don't know why I was not born on the ocean somewhere. Because I absolutely love the, the water, the ocean, the sand. I mean, anything to do with the beach and the ocean, I just absolutely love. I should have been born at the beach. Um, I don't know why I wasn't, but I wasn't. But I love anything to do with the beach. And I love, like, when I stand there and I look out at the ocean. And um, there's a scripture in Isaiah that says that God holds the oceans in the palm of his hand. And that's not single ocean, that's plural oceans, <laughs> the oceans. So that's all of them. And I just will stand there and look out at the ocean and it just makes me, you know, think of how big God is and, oh, I just love it. So I had a great time. We had a good time. We ate at some really great restaurants. If you're ever in Charleston, South Carolina, let me recommend Fleet's Landing. Um, 
we've been there twice now we went there once before and it the last time we were there and I've got to say it's one of my favorite places in the world to eat I've never had anything that wasn't good there it's delicious um, and of course shrimp and grits is a big thing in the south and um, I'd never had shrimp and grits until we moved down here and I'm hooked on it now so Fleet's Landing has amazing shrimp and grits um, and we ate there where else did we ate at a place called Charleston Crab House I wasn't that impressed with it it was okay it was expensive though and the food at Fleet's Landing was way way better um, so we ate a couple places and then we went we did a shelling tour where we they drove us out to this island um, it was like an hour hour and 15 minute drive which we went to uh, Georgetown to do that so that's um, on down about an hour from Charleston but we went to Georgetown and got on this shelling tour and they drove us out to this little island where nobody else was at and we found all kinds of shells I found like one of the big conch shells that um, well it's sitting right here I'll show you here in just a second see if I get this jump ring on okay that one was a thick jump ring all right so here's our little bangle and it does slide open and closed one back home keeps wanting to flip but um here's my big conch shell so i found this oh i was so proud of myself um but i oh, <laughs> i actually and there's some sand <laughs> i actually um had to climb down in some rocks to get this and cut my leg pretty bad in a couple places but i think if i take my dremel or my nail filing tool that this um outer like the stuff that's on it will come off and then I'll, it'll just be the pretty shell so I'm excited about that. I was excited to find that shell. Okay, so here's our bracelet. And like I said, you can put, um, whoops, you can put charms on it. You can put whatever you want on it. But I just think it's really pretty. I think they're cute. And I could add on the other um, Millefiori glass. You know, it's, this thing isn't too, too um, full, you know, but I like it. I think they're cute. And then, of course, it adjusts in. If you want to make it tighter, you can, just like this, just by squeezing it. Now, it won't go like, it's not going to go super, super tight, but again, you can squeeze it a little bit tighter if you want to by adjusting it, pushing it in a little bit, and then you could stack these, like you could do um, all different ones, so I love these, I think they're really cute, and again, they're up on my website, let me get this off and we'll do the earrings, so that's it, and like I said, if you want to make it a little tighter, you just push it in like this, and it's not going to go I mean, I guess you could push it around as much as you want it to go, but I have a freakishly small wrist, so, um, yeah, but anyway, I like these. I think they're really cute. I love the Millefiori glass. You could do all different colors. I mean, you could do anything. You could add charms to it, which I think would be really cute, and I may add a couple little charms or something on there, and then we're going to do some earrings, so these are going to be easy as well, and let me get my looper back out. All right, so... I think what I'm going to do is, where did my little spacer beads go? Oh, did I get everything mixed up? I did. I'm so bad to make a mess when I'm making stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a little spacer bead and a white bicone. So we've got, this is a chandelier finding. These are on my website. Pardon the sand and seashell stuff. And so I think, let's see... What I want to do is maybe those two and then these in the middle like this yeah except for I'm going to change my mind there and do this one then this one then this one here just like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and do my loop like that so we're gonna do that one like that and I'll go ahead and do the one for the other earring while I'm at it okay, so there's those Put in there I really do like the one step looper um, but like I said I don't use it always sometimes I just if I'm just doing a few, I just use my own, my own little pliers and willpower. <laughs> Let's see if I had any more. 
spacer beads out here. Okay, so let's do this one. And this guy right here. Do I have? Well, actually, I have these little white hearts. I think I might like to use them, too, because otherwise it's going to be a lot of blue. Well, let me just do this. Okay, so let's do a little white heart and a spacer bead and a little white heart. Okay. Or spacer bead, little white heart and spacer bead. I'm thinking as I'm working, so I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way I operate. I'll grab out a couple more spacer beads because I... I have all these spacer beads together in a container, and there's different sizes in there, so. I'm trying to just get the same size, make sure they match. So here's one little white heart, and one more spacer. Okay. And I did just upload a big video with all the new products on my website. I got in a couple big orders, um, so I'll just... Put a bunch of new stuff up there. Always love doing that. It's so much fun. It's like Christmas. Even though I don't keep it, you know, it's like I just had so much fun doing it. Putting it up on the site and looking at all the beads and I really enjoy that part of it. Okay, and then this little one. The other one we're going to put on here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do one more of those. We'll do this. Okay. Okay. So there's our pieces for each earring. Now, for the eye pin part that's going to hang from here, I'm going to do a spacer bead and this bead right here. And then another spacer. That one is over to the side, isn't it? Hopefully. I don't know if the other one's that way or not. We'll see. I'm going to make a loop. <laughs> well, I may end up having to change that one. It kind of looks like it's way over to the side, but we'll see. All right, and then I'm going to do, I had a bigger spacer on the bottom. Vanilla Fiori bead. Come on, go through there. Won't be difficult. Oh, come on. Everything's got to be hard when it's on camera. There we go. And I had a smaller bead on top. Yeah, that one's definitely centered better. Um, I don't know if I have another one of those that will match it exactly, so I'll have to see here in just a second. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we've got our little chandelier findings here. Let me get everything else out of the way. So I'm going to take the ear wire first off. Let me get my pliers back here. And I'm going to close, make sure these loops are closed right here, in these top loops. I'm just going to put this on the ear wire. Close it up real good. And then I'm going to hook the earring chandelier part onto this. Okay, so there's that part of it. And then I'm just going to hook these right on here. So I'm going to do put this little melon bead on one. Just like that. We're going to do the bicones in the middle. Just like that. I'm going to do the heart on the other side. Just like this. Make sure that's closed up real good. And here's what we've got. Cute little earring. 
Now, if it's hanging wrong like this one is, you can take this, just like this, hold the top loop with your plier and the bottom loop with your other plier, just like this, and turn. Okay, and just keep doing that until you get it. It goes like that, until you get it to where it needs to go. And this one is wonky because the this is lopsided, so I've got to try to find another one. Hopefully I have another one that matches, otherwise I'll have to come up with a different thing. But we'll do this one and I'll show you that not all of them would turn out like that. <laughs> that, that glass bead um, was cut lopsided, so that made it mess up. Oh shoot, what did I do? Did I put that on a head pin? I sure did. Good grief. Hang on. There is another mistake. I'm not refilming this video. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. We'll just put it on an eye pin. <laughs> I just was not thinking when I did that, was I? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this. With our looper. All right, here we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attach it. I really, really like these pliers too, by the way. If anybody's interested, there's our own pliers. I get them on Amazon. You can find cheaper prices on there for them. And I like them a lot. I didn't realize until I bought them how nice it is to have good pliers. Okay, so see how this is hanging sideways? So if I hold it like I want it to go, and I'm going to twist the bottom one around until I get it like I want it to hang. I just hold the top plier still and twist the bottom plier. Okay, and there, that twisted it around. I'm going to put our bicone one in the middle. I'm going to put our little melon ball. I want to mirror them, so I'm going to put my little melon ball right here. And I'm going to put the little heart over here. And like I said, I'll have to get in there and see if I have another one of these that I can make a different um, top for the other one. So hopefully I do. If not, I'll have to just change them both. But there it is. Really cute little earring. Whoops. There we go. Um, really cute little earring. Really cute little bracelet. And so, so easy. So again, these products are on my website. A lot of them are. Not the Millifiori glass, but the uh, I do have ear wires on there. I have these chandelier findings and the bracelet. Um, so yeah, check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I know it was quick and simple, but um, I think it turned out really cute. So I'm going to get off here and get some other stuff done. And you guys have a great rest of the night. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.